One of the most labor-intensive activities when designing radiant systems is the drawing of connections between the manifold and each heating surface. In order to get reliable calculation results, an appropriate number of pipe feed pairs must be arranged with the correct spacing. By using the new pipe feeds root tool, the workload for this stage of the design is reduced significantly. Once the pipe feeds have been routed and calculations have been carried out, the program automatically generates the pipe feeds in the correct number and with the required pipe spacing. Any change in the design resulting from modification of data or as a result of calculations, for example the number of heating surfaces or the pipe feeds spacing, results in the repeated generation of the pipe feeds route. To have the installation hydraulically balanced, it is advantageous to obtain similar lengths of loops originating from one manifold. After inserting the heating and cooling zones, making expansion joints and connecting the zones to the manifold by means of the pipe feeds route, install system 5 automatically divides the zones into the required number of circuits, observing the permissible maximum length of the loop and the maximum pressure loss. At the same time, the user can modify the direction of division and other important parameters that have an effect on the thermal and flow results and on the generated bill of materials. The way the radiator is connected to the distribution system depends on the way the installation is arranged and on the connection fittings used. Using the automatically connect terminal units function, the radiators can be promptly connected to the distribution system, with the proper angles and lengths of pipes maintained. The example presents, the implementation of two typical variants of radiator connections, from the wall and then from the floor, using the appropriate connection fittings. The same tool enables the automatic connection of terminal units in water supply systems, both in traditional distribution systems and in increasingly popular apartment circulating installations, where specialty pieces are used. Such solutions allow to reduce the so-called dead zones in water supply pipes, improving thereby the sanitary quality of water.
Another example of using the automatically connect terminal units tool is the quick connection of heating surfaces with the distribution system, for example in the T-Hellman arrangement. After dividing the heating and cooling zones into the appropriate number of loops and drawing the distribution system, the program automatically connects all surfaces to the distribution system. Schematic views, depending on the type of installation being designed, are often the preferred or explicitly required form of documentation. In one case they can complement the drawings of plans, and in another they will be the basic and only required graphic form of documentation of the designed installation. The Install System 5 package allows you to generate fully automatically schematic views from a 3D installation model. After inserting a starting point and optionally an end point or end points in the project, and then clicking the generate button, the install system 5 package will generate schematic view of installation for such routes. In addition to the installation itself and its parameters, Schematic View also presents rooms in which heat devices are located, for example conventional radiators or heating and cooling surfaces. By configuring the settings of the starting point, it is possible to limit the scope of installation presented on schematic view, so that, for example, it ends on the risers. or on flat stations, if available in the project. In addition, you can specify for which elements the labels are automatically generated. In turn, the rule for determining the position of the label relative to the element and the content of the label can be modified by properly reconfiguring its style.
It is also possible to manually adjust the position of selected labels and valves and other fittings. Labels can also be inserted manually into selected elements of schematic view. Schematic view can also be used to insert valves and other fittings, for example riser valves or radiator valves into the distribution system. The control point element allows you to additionally specify the direction of generated schematic view of the installation fragment, in relation to the riser. The first step required to determine the heat load of rooms and of the building is to obtain a complete building structure consisting of stories and rooms bounded by vertical and horizontal partitions. Install System 5 enables importing a building model from GBXML or IFC files. Alternatively, it is possible to create the required components of the building structure directly in the program, in an architectural base drawing, loaded from a DWG, PDF or other graphic format file. The quickest way to get walls, floors and ceilings is to use the generate walls and slabs from rooms and building contour function. Once the shapes of all rooms have been drawn, followed by the contours of the building, and the above function is initiated, the program automatically generates all walls, floors and slabs between stories. The correct working of the function can be verified on plans and in the 3D view. Using the general data, the default dimensions of windows, roof windows, doors and window recesses can be specified. If the size of the inserted component is different from the default one, a correction can be made in the label visible after marking the component. The standard copy and paste operations can also be used.
The opening in slab component makes it possible to cut out holes, for example where stairs connecting successive stories are located. The last step in creating the building structure is to insert the roofs and shape the roof slopes accordingly. Initially the roof has a flat structure. The roof is then shaped by drawing the roof edges and appropriately modifying the elevations of the roof tops. In this way, various roof constructions can be included in the design, including roof windows and dormers if required. In the last stage the heat transfer coefficient of building partitions should be determined. Install System 5 enables importing partition definitions from another project file. A set of partitions once created, by building from layers or entering directly the resultant value of heat transfer coefficient, can be saved in a dedicated project file and used in many subsequent projects. Assignment of appropriate definitions of partitions to graphic partitions is performed automatically based on partition type and its thickness. Finally, after the calculations are performed, a set of results is obtained, including thermal load of the building and of its individual rooms. The calculation results can be analyzed in tables as well as in 2D and 3D views within the dedicated editing scope.